is the new bridge and it's 56 years old <laughs> the new bridge I remember the day it officially opened over to the left over there is a Maria pool and I was in first form of high school when I was 13 and I was doing my Royal Life Saving Society of Australia uh, bronze medallion and that was the assessment day we had to swim so many laps and do CPR and basic first aid a few other water skills and it couldn't come down to the opening of the bridge because it was on at the same time but we looked through the fence and we could see all the activities and all the cars going over um, my younger brother went and all the school kids were given a bag of lollies I remember he came down to the pool after with a bag of lollies and I asked him for a lolly and he wouldn't give me one <laughs> see how very low the tide is you can see all the sandbanks at the river it silts up a lot this river because when they have the floods it washes it all away so this is the main street of Maruya Falcon Street my hometown when I was here there were no traffic lights and the hotel on the left is the Adelaide Hotel and the old bank is here on the right and apparently there's a cafe there and that's where we're going to have breakfast in the morning with some mates, I believe. And here on the corner on the right that says the Commonwealth Bank, that used to be Milet's Bakery. And the Air Raid Hotel here on the right. might do is we might take a um, another ride through the main street here on the left used to be the BP service station and I used to work part-time there as a petrol pump jockey filling up cars when it was a BP service station And this park on the left is the Apex Park. That's where I had my big confrontation with Vince Honan. Vince was a local yokel, about four or five years older than me, big fella. He had a reputation of being a bully. And myself, a guy called John Douglas, who was a skinny dying little runt, and my younger brother, who was probably about 10 or 12 at the time. And we challenged Vince, we got sick of his bullying and we challenged Vince to a fight and luckily Vince took pity on us, just gave us a kick up the bum but for thereafter we were in Vince's good books because we stood up to him and he, he, he never picked on us after that the old courthouse and the police station and coming up on the right is the Monarch Hotel And I certainly used to do oh, no right turn. I think that was down further. And here on the left is a car park where they have markets on the weekend. And the post office is here on the right, but it never used to be when I was in Maria. I'll show you the post office building and ahead here 
where those toilet blocks are it used to be my dad's workplace just in there it was an old building and dad had a tire company a bit like a Bob Jean, Jane T-Mart and the Maria Memorial swimming pool I used to come down and swim this park here we used to play in the park in those my day they had massive big fig trees all along but they've all been taken down which is a damn shame that rotunda's been there forever think they'd let us in wouldn't you? I guess not. Oh, here we go. He's going to turn left that guy so we're in. Alright so another lap of the main street. And this is uh, where the Mardi Gras parade will be held tomorrow. Not quite sure the, the route it's going to take. And this sports store here used to be a grocery shop. It was Ronnie Cheshire's Groceries was in there. Shire Council now that was all built after I left Maria but it's probably 40 years old now that so the post office used to be up here on this intersection on the right and directly opposite was the council chambers that was in my day so the post office here now I think it's an Airbnb and the telephone exchange was there this was the post office and this was the council chambers and the Masonic Lodge here on the left and my house that I grew up in was down here 24 Page Street Maria where this white vehicle is parked and that was my I grew up there and that old fence has been there from the get go that's where I grew up yeah. Yeah, 20. My mate Mickey Weeks lived over there in number 27. And that fence was there. Well, that fence would have to be close to 100 on 100 years old that fence. The granite on the bottom of it and the wooden posts. Yeah, that was it. Okay. And straight ahead is the golf course. My day it was only a nine hole golf course. Um, and there used to be a... It was a floodplain, half of it. It was a nine hole golf course and then somewhere along the line, I'm not sure when, the golf club purchased some land and turned it into a 18 hole golf course and the Maria Golf Club coming up on the left on the corner my dad was club champion there seven times I think it was I think it was seven times and he was also club captain several times Maria Primary School here on the right used to be the high school, it was a central school and then it became uh, a high school, the high school was on the ground at the same grounds as the primary school and then in 1970 the new high school was built 
and I did my last two years at the new high school. So from here on, it's called Gundary. Actually, I think when you cross over this creek, little creek here, called Gundary. A lot of the kids I used to go to school with came from up here. They used to pride themselves on coming from Gundairy. There used to be a little cafe, a little milk bar, a grocery shop, general store. It still is by the look of it. Now the Maria Hospital is straight ahead down here the cheese factory where you used to make cheese was here on the left cheese factory not sure when it shut up and this used to be a soft drink here on the right now it's storage but it used to be a soft drink manufacturer there This bottle bark close down there. My brother had a house down there, lived down there for a number of years. It's very nice too. And he also lived in this little one here on the left as well for a number of years. Craig Moston Place had two houses down there and he also owned this one at one stage on the corner. Just used to chop and change like the wind. And the Maria Hospital is here. My younger sister, Kath, is born there. My mum passed away there. I had my appendix out there. Yeah. I was talking to my brother. I think it was my brother. Oh, it might have been somebody else couple of weeks ago telling me that they're going to relocate the hospital build a completely new one I don't know whether that's true or not but good story anyway yeah, another view of the river Maria River Maria Bowling Club over there. Used to have a nice happy hour buffet. Very nice bowling club. And the Catholic Church, right on top of the hill, where else would it be for a Catholic Church? And Catholic Primary School beside it. And my younger sister Kath got married in that church. And here on the corner used to be an old boarding house, got burnt down by fire I believe. And on the right, the Memorial Hall. Used to play basketball in there. And beside it is the Mas what is that called? The Masonic Hall or something. Used to be in a boys. I was in uh, the Boy Scout and that. Yeah. Anyway, this used to be the post office just here. And now it's privately owned and it's an Airbnb. Yeah, I used to know all the people that lived in these houses, left and right. And 
Not now. place on the corner used to be a block of four flats I think don't know if it still is well that'll do for a tour around Maria my nostalgic catch up I shall uh, we shall head off now to my sister's house which is just down here a couple of hundred metres 